Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. Today, we're gonna be covering how we create a liquid filled logo. So we have any kind of geometry, you wanna fill it up with liquid, here's how you go about it. So let's drop down a ge geometry node for starters. Oh, I'm already inside the geo. <laughs> I was like, what? So let's just fake it with like um, the letter H for happy. And we are going to transform it and rotate it 90 degrees so that it's facing upside down. Um, and then we're gonna do an extrude. So I'll poly extrude here and let's go ahead and output back so that it's filled and then we're going to drop another transform and move the centroid to the origin so it's basically perfectly in space. Now let's drop down a box so that we can kind of get an idea of the size of the simulation. Um, we know a box is a meter by meter by meter. I'm gonna make this a little larger than that just because it's easier to sim liquids at a little larger scale. Um, that's kind of like a personal preference. But we'll use the box, we hit enter, to create kind of like our plane. So now we have a plane like this and we are going to kind of like do this and we're gonna use the H to make a hole to the box. So you can do that using a Boolean. Connect the box here and the H on the second input and you're gonna get a perfect uh, container. And that's what we're gonna fill. So let's do a collision source. And in our collision source, we'll drop down two nulls. Uh, on our first node, we're gonna do out collision. And on our second node, we're gonna do out collision, but we want it to be VDV. So if we visualize, that's gonna give us our VDV shape, but we want that to have more voxels. So let's go ahead and do 0 0.02. And it's, this depends, like if you want it to be really high res, you, you would probably go 0 0.1 or higher resolution. And now we are going to do a sphere and this can be pretty much anything you want but this is going to be what's going to um like drop the liquid or like the source of the liquid um let's go ahead and position this basically any way you want but i'm going to do it like right here in the center so that the liquid kind of spreads in a cool way And now we are going to do a top source, top flip source. And we're going to drop down a null and say, this is our source. Then we need a top network. And inside of our top network, we're going to do a flip object and flip solver. Connect the flip object into the first input and this into the second. And now we want to tell this to be your source. So let me move this a little bit here so you guys can see. All right, so push this out. And then you click this right here and you do outsource particle field and um, and we have sort of our really crude sort of particle base field 
on our guides we're gonna come into the particles and we're gonna say particles instead of sprites so that we see the particles I'm hitting um, space F to center my screen to what I need now what you want to do is on the particle separation you're gonna copy this parameter and outside here on the flip source you're gonna paste the relative reference in what's what it says particle separation paste relative reference okay now we can increase that and it's gonna automatically affect this outside over tops. So now we have more particles. Then we're gonna add a static object and merge this into our chain. And this is gonna be, you have to click this button here, this little arrow, so that your static object is on the left and your top flip source is on the right. Now we're gonna come here and select the view flag on the static object and we're gonna come here and say we want this to be the collision and inside our collisions we're gonna change this to volumes collision because this is gonna make the collisions faster and on our volume collision we want the mode to be set to volume sampler and this is where you select the out collision VDB collision VDB now if we hit um, display geometry and turn that off and turn on the collision geometry, you're going to see that this gives us a pretty nice collision for us to work with. Um, now one of the tricks is you want to make sure to turn that back off because calculating um, a simulation with the collisions turned on, the visualization makes it slower. Now what we need is a volume source so that the liquid pumps liquid every frame and we're gonna say initialize but source flip and here we're gonna pick our outsource again and we're gonna drop down the gravity let's hit play and that's gonna give us our base simulation you, you can see how fast that is how quick and how easy it is to make Now you're gonna say like, but dude, like this is super fast. Like how can I slow down the intensity of the liquid and make it more interesting? Well, let's cover a few tips to optimize this, make it quicker and make it look a little nicer. All right, so let's go ahead and save the, pro the project. And we're going to make our container box a little smaller just because we don't need to calculate all that information. If you hit space and number two, you can see it from the top and we're only going to calculate this space space 3 from the side we only need this much and space 4 from the right side space 1 takes you back to normal all right so that is the first thing that i want to do the next thing is Maybe we just come here onto our source and animate the rotation with a dollar F and multiply that by 0 0.05 so it's not super fast. Actually, dollar F might be fine. So now we're gonna have a spinning, um, a spinning source, and let's see what that gives us. can't really see a lot of things changing so I'm gonna drop down a mountain and um, we're gonna get more turn this to polygon and get yourself more points to work with and make this mountain animated but with much smaller sizes and less amplitude just so that we have like a nice moving source and the pulse we're gonna make it slower let's see what that gives us let's 
so it is working um but we probably need way more points so that we can actually see the action but you can see the points on the swords are now moving a little bit now the next thing that i want to do is we can either reduce the gravity or just add some drag so do a pop drag and on our drag we're gonna make it like five so this is how you can control the speed in which this thing is moving so you can see now it's way slower and now the other thing is like you see how some of the particles separate a lot um you can kind of control that if you come here and on your volume source we add a little bit of viscosity and make this to like a two actually if you come to the flip object make the viscosity here a two now we're gonna have more viscosity and uh, the particles are gonna stick closer together so obviously it's gonna take a little bit more time to fill it up but it's gonna feel much tighter Now the last little trick that can go a long way is if we duplicate this drag and we just add a little expression here so that it breaks up our drag a little bit and we do an air, air resist is equal to fit01 and then we're going to do a rand at ptnum and fit that between 0 and 1. So the, what that's going to do is just randomize drag between 0 and 1 values over all of your particles. So everything is getting different drags, and that's really going to help it look way nicer. Now there's a bunch of other little tricks, but I can do another video on covering this. If you guys are interested, just leave a comment and we can dive deeper into how to control liquids in this form. Um, here's a flip book of how this looks like. Um, and the very last thing that I want to show you guys is when you go to output, you want to copy this name or do flip import parameters, um, dot import parameters, dot import fields, import this dot here. You want to select the object one, which is whatever source you have right here. And then I also like to do a delete point and we're gonna do particles. And then that way you can isolate all only the particle simulation that you have. And then you can play with the colors as well, post sim. I do that a lot for like visualizing purposes with a ramp by attribute and just selecting the velocity and doing something like that and there's a few different ways of getting rid of this chunk right here one of them would be you can do a switch up here and do a switch between that and a null so after emitting for a few points then you turn it off you basically just control hit this and move it and control hit that and then it's gonna just remove the source entirely that's one option and another option could be if we just do like a delete post simulation. We're gonna do a delete point by bounding box or a sphere. And then delete those like that. Delete 
drop down on all afterwards and then that way you can get a cleaner cleaner result all right guys i hope you like this tip and i will be back with more